brings people together from all over Armadale. It also provides healthy and fresh produce for the community. It is a living library in which people learn new things. The community garden is an important aspect of our community. It's a, it's a living thing and it's people. And that's really the best thing about the garden is people. Well, I like physical activity and where I'm living at the moment there's only a tiny little bit of garden for me. So in 10 minutes time I can do the gardening. So to come down here I can spend hours digging and swinging in mattock and making new paths and new garden beds here and uh, I really enjoy that and I enjoy the people who come down here because they're good friendly people, they all love gardening and we have a good time and we get to share the vegetables. Oh thank you Charlie, that's so nice of you, thank you. Hey, Everyone, this, this is Charlie. It's a bit of exercise as well and the food that you get here, you know where it comes from, how it's grown, so you're also learning a bit of the process and hopefully eating healthier food. And it just does bring together so many different people for so many different reasons. I mean, we have the people who have been constructing the garden and so forth, but we have many visitors who come and come because, for instance, um, they want to learn something. There are many people who have come to Armadale from a completely different climate. Mm and they want to learn about growing food in a frosty area because they've never had to deal with that before and what do they plant when. We'll all become experts and there's nothing like having <laughs> recently learnt about a worm farm to be <laughs> then yeah. telling everybody else about it and oh yes you do this and you do that and so forth. Well, of course, anything that we produce within the garden does get recycled. Everything that doesn't get oh, eaten or <laughs> dug back into the soil or some of the produce will be sold to give us um, some funds to keep the garden going. Since we have a very good um, relationship with the restaurant at Nerham Harvest, because they, of course, produce a lot of fresh veggie scraps and so we take all of that and bring it across here and some of it goes to help feed the chooks and the rest will go into compost and so one way or another it all gets used. The garden functions on various levels and one that I think is very important and ongoing is all the ways that it can interact with the community and, and, and everything that people can learn from it. But obviously a very large part of it is the food that we grow and the lessons people can pick up from how things are done here.